All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up, everybody? Welcome to GNR Frank. And today we're going to be talking about a lavalier microphone review. So first things first, we've got to get a couple of formalities out of the way. Number one, this microphone has been provided to me by Five Fine Technology. Thank you all very much for the opportunity. Uh, this microphone, again, was provided to me for free from Five Fine Technology. And number two, I have not been paid or swayed or convinced or coerced in any way, shape or form to say anything specific about the microphone. So what this means is that I have not been told to say, make a positive review. I have not been told to make a negative review. I have not been told to highlight any one or two specific items. They just told me to do an honest review of their microphone. Okay. And number three, I am an honest reviewer. I don't believe in reviewing things for people and lying to them because I know what it is to work hard for your money. And therefore I would not want anybody who watches my content to go out there and spend their hard earned money on a product that I firmly wouldn't believe in. If you watch all of my other headset reviews in the past, you definitely would know this. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open up the box and see what comes inside. So one of the things that I noticed about the microphone from the get-go that kind of sets it apart from a lot of other lav mics, especially the ones that I've used, is that it is not your conventional 3.5 millimeter jack that plugs in. Instead, it comes with a USB sound card. So it is a literal USB plug and play lavalier microphone, which in my opinion is freaking awesome. So here's the reason why. Number one, and of course this is different for everybody, my camera does not have a mic input. So anytime that I want to use my lav mic, I actually have to hook it up using an adapter into my Focusrite audio interface. Although that's not a major pain in the ass, it is a bit of an inconvenience. The other thing that I like about this microphone so far is that the cord is six and a half feet long. All right, so it is a half a foot longer than I am tall, and it is the perfect length. It is a sweet spot length, it's great. Because I've used a Rode LavGo microphone before, and that cord was a little too short for my liking. I've also used the Best Buy brand the Insignia lavalier microphone, which I still have. And that cable is freaking long. It's way too long. It's difficult to manage and it's a pain in the ass. So this being six and a half feet long is literally, in my opinion, a sweet spot length and it's perfect. Okay. The other feature that sets this apart from other lavalier microphones is that the USB sound card actually has an input for a pair of headphones. So for instance, I've got these HyperX earbuds. Please don't buy these, they're garbage, by the way. I have these HyperX earbuds plugged in to the sound card and I have mic monitoring turned on, which thankfully the, um, the booklet that comes included shows you how to do that. And I just simply plug it in, pop the headphones in. I can immediately hear my voice and see what it sounds like as I'm speaking. And I'll tell you this, this is crystal clear. Number one, this sounds crystal freaking clear. Now, it's listed as a unidirectional microphone and that it picks up more sound from the front, a little bit on the sides and not too much in the rear. So let's test that out. I'm going to go ahead and snap my fingers starting in the back and we're going to go move to the front and see what that sounds like. Let's go. Okay. And as I'm hearing that live, because I'm monitoring everything, I can definitely tell that we would pick up sound from behind us, but it definitely gets louder as we get to the sides and very prominent once we're in the front of the microphone. So if you got a whole lot going on in the back, you might pick it up. If you've got a lot going on in the front, you're definitely going to pick it up. And to showcase that, we're going to go ahead and use my keyboard. And it's coming in crystal clear. I can hear every single keystroke like that. And as I'm maneuvering from window to window using my mouse, I can also pick up the uh, clicks of every mouse. So being that this is a lav mic and you're probably using this to record some sort of YouTube video or a blog or whatever, I hope that you're a responsible mic user and you've maybe tried some soundproofing or at the very least minimizing how much noise is coming in and around you, right? Now, once again, if you're recording with a lav mic, you're probably gonna do something to where you're not gonna have a whole lot of nice noise going on in front of you. And keep in mind that as I'm recording this, there's no post-processing right now. But 
Maybe you want to hear what it sounds like with some post-processing and maybe you just want to hear what it sounds like vocally with no post-processing. So I'm going to read the first couple lines of The Raven and we're going to do it first without any post-processing. Here we go. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As of some one gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Now with some post-processing. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door, tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. I just want to keep this brief, okay? Number one, the microphone sounds great, in my opinion. Out of all the, la the, the other lav mics that I have used, okay? The, I've used three in my time, okay? I use the DeWise lav mic, which is awful. I've used a la the Rode Lav Go microphone, which was not worth the $80 price point. And I've used the Insignia Best Buy brand lav mic, which is, I think, ran me about 50 bucks, which is okay, right? I've used those three, and now this will be the fourth microphone that I use, lavalier microphone, right? And out of the four, I'm just gonna be honest with y'all, this is the best one so far. It sounds the clearest. I feel like it picks up my voice and does, it does justice to my voice, okay? And the fact that it's USB plug and play eliminates so much shenanigans out of the way for you as a user that you don't have to worry about plug it into your phone or plugging it into an adapter or doing all this other stuff, right? It goes straight to your PC. Now, side note, again, if you're somebody who's using a lav mic on mobile, you're gonna have a hard time using this right now because it doesn't come with any adapters for mobile. That would be on you to find, okay? This is meant for somebody who's gonna sit here in front of a computer and a camera and record themselves or no camera and you just wanna record some vocals, this is for you, okay? It's a six and a half foot long cord, so it's gonna allow you to be comfortably stationary. You're not gonna have to worry about tangling wires and, and organizing this and that. It's just right there ready to go. And the fact that it comes included with the ability to mic monitor, I think is really, really, really cool. Any lav mic I've used in the past did not have that ability. The only complaint that I have about this product is that the sound card is a little beefy. You're probably not gonna be able to connect another USB device directly next to this one because it is a bit of a wide, uh, it's a bit of a thick boy, if you will, right? So you're gonna have to probably find a way to isolate this by itself on some USB ports and then maybe reshuffle some things around. So that being said, at what, this cost me like $26 on Amazon, y'all. For 26 bucks, you can get a phenomenal budget entry level lav mic. What are you waiting for? But other than that, y'all, if that is the biggest complaint I've got about this product, for $26, it's a great buy. So if you're looking for a lav mic, and you're looking for one that you can use on your PC with all, without shenanigans, and you maybe you even want mic monitoring. Five Fine Technologies K053 Live Video Microphone is for you. My name is Francisco. Thank you all so much for hanging out and checking out the review. Please let me know what you think. In the meantime, y'all have a wonderful day. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Peace out.